Welcome back. Problem 6-75. This problem is taken from chapter number 6 that is bending and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the shaft is supported by smooth thrust bearing at A and smooth journal bearing at D. If the shaft has cross section shown, you can see the shaft cross section. The outer radius is 40 mm and inner radius is 25 mm. Determine the absolute maximum bending stress in the shaft. So this is the shaft at A we have a smooth general a thrust bearing at, at D we have smooth general bearing at B and C we have a 3 kilo newton load that is downward the length is shown over here the total length is 3 meter clear so you have to find the absolute maximum bending stress in the shaft so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this smooth thrust bearing so you will be having reaction force exerted by this bearing on the shaft which is equal to RA and if you remove this smooth journal bearing at D so it will apply a reaction force RD uh, on the shaft so we'll find this RA and RD by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point A the first moment will be this 3 kilo newton load and perpendicular distance is 0 0.75 it is clockwise so it will be negative so I will write minus 3 into 0 0.75 the second moment will be due to this 3 kilo newton load and now perpendicular distance is this one which is 0 0.75 plus 1.5 and that is 2.25 and it is also clockwise so it will be negative so I will write minus 3 into 2.25 meter and the last moment that is produced due to this rd and perpendicular distance is this total is 3 and this is producing clockwise counterclockwise so it will be positive plus rd into 3 and the sum of all this moment about point a must be equal to 0 so when you calculate it uh, you will get this 3 rd will be equal to 9 and from here you will get this rd will be equal to 3 kilo newton okay now you have this rd so you can find this ra by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so ra which is upward so ra minus this 3 kilo newton and minus this 3 so minus 3 minus 3 plus rd which is plus 3 is equal to 0 so from here this will cancel with this so ra will also equal to 3 kilo newton now we have ra and rb so we will move toward finding the shear force and bending moment diagram because we have to find the maximum bending moment and maximum bending moment bending stress and that maximum bending stress is maximum bending moment into c divided by i so here the hollow circular shaft so it will be outer radius so for finding a maximum bending moment we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so again for that i will take the horizontal vertical line from the end of this beam clear and then a horizontal line to show the length in x in meter on y axis we will have shear force that will having newton uh, unit kilo newton let each division is uh, um, uh, 1.5 kilo newton so this is 3 similarly minus 1.5 you can choose as per your required scale r chosen scale now you can see that first at r a we have at point a we have r a which is 3 kilo newton so your first point will be this one now moving from point a till point b there is no other shear force so till this point b this shear force will remain horizontal okay now at this point b we have minus 3 that is downward so plus 3 minus 3 will bring it to 0. So shear force will change from 3 to 0. Now again from B to C there is no other shear force. So it will remain same similar horizontal line till point C. 
so this is your point c this is your point b this is c so this shear force remain horizontal again at point c you have minus 3 downwards so 0 minus 3 will be equal to minus 3 so shear force will change it here and it will be minus 3 and moving from c to d there is no other shear force so it will remain same horizontal horizontal line clear and at the end you can see you have rd which is plus 3 so minus 3 plus 3 will bring it to 0 okay so this is your shear force diagram s f d shear force diagram now we'll find the bending moment diagram for that i will draw horizontal line again to show the length of beam and this length will be in meter and on y axis you have moment that will have unit kilo newton into meter so let one division is one kilo newton into meter this is two this is three similarly minus one minus two so at x is equal to zero we have moment is equal to zero now the first area under the uh, shear force diagram is this area and this area is this height which is three and this length is 0 0.75 so 3 into 0 0.75 will be equal to 0 2.25 so at this point we will have 2.75 so first we'll locate 2.25 sorry so that this point is 2.25 now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with this area is positive and this is zero degree line so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be a linear line and slope will be increasing so you will join these two points using straight line now here in this region there is shear force is zero so bending moment will remain constant till this point so it will be a straight line till this point this will be 2.25 now the area under the shear this area under this shear force diagram is minus 3 into 0 0.75 which is equal to minus 2.25 so plus 2.25 minus 2.25 will bring it to 0 at this point clear so your new point, uh, bending moment at this point will be 0 and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with this area is negative so bending moment will be a linear line and slope will be decreasing so we'll join these two point using a straight line and that will be your BMD bending moment diagram okay now from BMD bending moment diagram you have bending moment absolute maximum absolute value of bending moment is equal to 2.25 and unit will be kilo newton into meter clear so this will be the maximum bending moment will be 12 uh, 2.25 kilo newton into meter so we have been given the hollow circular shaft hollow circular shaft outer and inner radius are given that is outer is 0 0.04 and inner is 0 0.025 meter so i for circular second moment of inertia of circular shaft is pi by 4 into c outer power 4 minus c inner power 4 where c is the radius so you can just put the value pi by 4 c outer was 0 0.04 power 4 minus c inner is 0 0.025 power 4 clear and what about c outer c outer is the maximum distance from the neutral axis so you can have all you have now you have all the values so you can just put it in this formula that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment and c outer divided by i so maximum bending moment is 2.25 kN so 2.25 into 10 raised to power 3 will be newton into meter and c outer is 0 0.04 divided by i which is pi by 4 into 0 0.04 power 4 minus 0 0.025 power 4 so again when you calculate it you will get 
52.8 into 10 raised to power 6 Pascal and when you convert it into mega Pascal so maximum bending stress will be equal to 52.8 mega Pascal which is the answer of this question so maximum bending stress for the loading and the hollow circular shaft is calculated is 52.8 that was all about this problem 6-75 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching